hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand about the synapse analytics so till now we have covered about the azure storage azure data factory azure data bricks by spark so now let us try to understand why synapse analytics and what is the importance of the synapse analytics and why we have to use the synapse analytics okay so azure synapse analytics is a enterprise analytics service so this is nothing but a, this is a analytics service that accelerates the time to insight that accelerates the time to insight across data warehouse and the big data system okay so let us try to understand it okay so till now what we have seen so suppose you have a data in a different system okay suppose you have a data in a different system okay suppose this is your sales data suppose this is your hr data suppose this is a, another data you have uh, that is coming from another services app data okay so, okay okay now what actually we were doing so we were actually doing a ingestion first okay so what actually we were trying to do we were trying to ingest into a common space okay so for that what actually we were using we were using the uh, we are using the ADF to extract the data from a different resources and we were actually putting into the ADLS ADLS that is nothing but our data lake storage so till now what actually this actually we were achieving through a Azure data factory right so now after once we have a data in ADLS what actually we were doing we were also using the data bricks okay because this all the data in a raw format so this data is nothing but a, this is in a raw format so what actually we were doing uh, we were actually connecting with a data bricks so here actually we were using a data bricks and through a pi spark spark sql or scala actually we were trying to clean the data and after that we were actually trying to put into a another azure data lake storage okay either you can put into a azure data lake storage or any other db you can put your data so this is what actually we were doing till now okay now with that adls we were actually trying to connect with our visualization tool that is nothing but a power bi or a, a tableau okay so this is what actually the thing actually we were following till now okay so here what actually happening is like for azure data factory we have to create the azure data factory account right for the data bricks uh, we have to we should have a data bricks account right and uh, after that we should have a connection for the power bi and this all the stuff was happening okay now with the help of the synax analytics what is happening you will get all the services you will get all the services in a common space you will get all the services in a common space you will get all the services in a common space means you do not have to create a separately azure data factory you do not have to create for the spark a separate data bricks and all you can use a uh, spark also here and also you can directly connect with the power bi okay you can directly connect with the power bi so all the analytics space in a common space that actually is solving with the help of the azure synapse analytics the synapse analytics okay so in a high level if you can if you want to understand so azure synapse analytics is nothing but uh, you will get all the services re regarding the sql sql data warehousing and for the ingestion azure data factory etl services and all and for all the all the spark related things where you have to do the cleaning and also you can directly connect with the power bi visualization tool for the reporting so all the services you will get in a common space that actually for that we use a synapse analytics i hope you got the overall idea high level idea at least you got it right in next video we will also try to understand with the help of the the architecture diagram so that you will get more idea about it okay now yeah that's it in this video thank you